Okay, YouTube, I'm back again. This is 26 Weeks Part 2, um, and I just had one more thing to talk about, but I didn't want it to cut me off on the other video. Um, the last thing that I've been doing this week is, of course, I'm starting to look for a pediatrician. Um, that's going to be something that's really important. Um, and I don't know, people were telling me not to just go by reviews that you read on the internet and things like that with picking um, a pediatrician. I was actually, there was a lady actually telling me that you should go and interview the pediatricians. Um, that just sounded a little weird to me, like to go and interview a doctor and be like, are you going to take care of my baby good? Like, I don't know what you go and ask a doctor, because um, <laughs> they're the doctor, so... Um, I don't know about that, but I've been looking at different doctors and just trying to read other moms' reviews about doctors in the area. They have some websites where you can go and, um, you know, mothers will recommend a doctor and you can read reviews on them and stuff like that. So I've been doing that. The other thing that I've been doing is looking at child care centers. <sighs> this is so scary for me, guys. Um... When, before I got pregnant, I always told myself, if I have a baby, my baby's not going in child care. Um, and then I've come to find out that that's really not realistic. Unless you have family that's really, really close to you, which I do, but family that also is really, really close to you and does not work at all and is willing to watch your baby all the time, why you do all the other necessary things you need to do in life, then child care is something very important that you're going to need to look at. And with me, um, me and Kamora's father, he's very, very supporting, um, but before I found out I was pregnant, right before I found out I was pregnant, he moved to um, the city, um, which is about an hour and maybe 15 minutes from me. Um, so, and his family lives maybe 15 minutes from me. And, um, and I still live with my parents currently. I actually just moved out of an apartment of my own and moved back in with my parents. Um, but they both work night shift. They both work graveyard shifts, like 7 to 11, um, you know, 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. and things like that. Like, they work some crazy shifts and they sleep all day long and then get up and work overnight. And um, his parents, they work during the day, but they work, they're gone from like 7 in the morning to maybe like 3 or 4 in the afternoon. So that leaves me, who's going to be the sole provider and caretaker of my child when she first gets here, which is nice and dandy and fine. She's coming in November. Um, I'll be ending my first semester, well, the, you know, the first half of the semester um, in school, and then I'll be out until the beginning of January. So I'll be with her for those good two months, like I said, if she comes on time. But what I'm worried about is... Um, when January comes around, I am going to be starting back school for my last semester, and it's so important to me. I only have one semester to go before I get my bachelor's degree, and, you know, I don't want to sound inconsiderate, but I'm not going to let her mess that up, um, because I need it for me and her both so that I can provide, and so I'm going to be going to school taking two classes down at my campus, which is about 30 minutes from my home, and um, I wouldn't have a problem if those two classes were the only thing I had to worry about because my grandparents live right next to my college, and I could drop her off with them and then pick her up after class. The thing I do have to worry about is I have an internship, which I have to do um, about twice a week, and... Um, you know, between those two classes and my internship, that's going to be about four days out the week that I'm going to be doing something where I need somebody else to watch her. And this is going to be for a four-month span. 
and my internship is in the opposite direction, about 45 minutes away in the opposite direction of my college. And I have nobody I can drop her off to up there during the time for an internship will be, which are the hours of about 9 to 5. So I've been looking at daycares um, in which she can go maybe part-time on just the days that I do my internship and then on the days I'm in class she can go with family members um, but anyway I did find a um, daycare that I'm really interested in they're about 10 minutes from my house um, they're open from 6.30 in the morning to 6 in the afternoon which would be perfect um, and what's so interesting with them right now is for an, an infant, I don't know if you guys know, but, you know, daycares normally won't take infants until they're about six or eight weeks old. And I know that sounds so freaking young. You're like, to give my six-week-old or my eight-week-old to somebody else to watch just, like, breaks my heart just thinking about it. Um, but then you think regular maternity leave at, you know, your job is, like, six weeks, and then you have to get your butt back to work. And like I said, if you don't have the pleasure of having family members who can take care of your child all the time, you have to find alternative means. And um, basically what I'm trying to say is this daycare center, um, their normal rate for watching an infant, they will start taking infants at eight weeks, and um, their normal rate is $220 a week. Um, and that's where I live. Daycare is high, you guys. Um, but right now they are actually having a special... Um, if you enroll your child now, um, it's $155 a week um, for infants as well. And all you have to do is put down a deposit, and they will hold your spot um, as long as you want. So if I put down a $155 deposit now, they and I don't want her to start going to daycare until January or February, they will hold her spot until then at that rate. So, I am most likely going to do that because this daycare is, um, from what I've heard, is a really good one. When you drive by it, like, it looks so expensive and it just looks really nice and you always see the kids out playing and stuff like that. And, um, but me and my mom are going to actually go do a walkthrough and a tour. And I have this big, thick checklist, um, of things with all these important questions and things like that to look at um, while I'm actually in the daycare and check off, see it goes on for days, um, just to make sure that I want to leave my child with these people, you know, um, and if that is the case, she will probably start there sometime in January when she's about eight or nine weeks, and it, it sounds so young, but, she, you know, I'm going to have family members picking her up as soon as she's, um, as soon as they get off of work so that, you know, they can be with her instead of her being, you know, somebody strangers, basically. Um, and plus, I am going to be needing to go back to work. You know, I'm a college student right now. I'm out of work right now because due to health issues, I couldn't continue to work while I was pregnant. Um, so, you know, after she's born, I'm going to have to start working again. Um, and I want to. It's going to be so hard for me because I'm going to want to spend time with her and I'm not going to feel comfortable putting her in a daycare. But hopefully when I go visit them, me and my mom do the tour, they'll make me feel comfortable enough where I know she'll be in good hands and um, I can leave her there comfortably while I, you know, finish school um, and get a part-time job. And um, that's just that. That's just a, a touchy topic for me and probably some of you other moms out there, like, just daycare, like, it's so scary to leave your child at a daycare because you don't know what's happening. And this daycare, actually, they do offer um, the video camera access from the internet where you can watch your child. Um, there's, like, an extra fee you have to pay, um, but I like that they offer that, and that's probably something that I would do. Um, you know, let me log on to the internet real quick and see what you're doing with my child. It's just so scary, but at the same time, child care is a necessity nowadays. That's why they can charge you so much a week to watch your child, because 
you're going to eventually need it if you don't have the you know the luxury of being able to stay at home and not have to worry about working or going to school or anything like that so that's just what I wanted to tell you guys about let me know your thoughts on child care and all that good stuff I feel sad now <laughs> talking about it but um I don't know it'll be better in the long run I'll be able to provide for her and um yeah maybe she'll make some little baby friends <laughs> Alright guys, that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. 26 weeks. Let me get out of here. Um, thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on Sunday with week 27. Getting close. Bye.